For centuries, humanity has looked to the stars, trying to understand the mysteries of the cosmos. From the earliest astronomers who charted the skies with nothing but their eyes to the modern telescopes that pierce the veil of space, we've always wondered what's out there. And more importantly, what does it tell us about where we come from? Now, in the age of advanced technology, we stand at the edge of something truly extraordinary, something that may redefine our understanding of the universe. Since its launch, the James Webb Space Telescope has done more than just meet expectations. It has opened a window to the cosmos like never before. This isn't just about seeing distant stars or observing distant galaxies. This is about discovering the very origins of the universe itself, and perhaps finding answers to questions we never even thought to ask. Let's take a step back. The James Webb Space Telescope, often called JWST, is the most powerful space telescope humanity has ever created. It's designed to observe the universe in infrared, a type of light invisible to the naked eye, but essential for seeing through cosmic dust clouds and peering deep into the past. Where previous telescopes, like the famous Hubble, could only scratch the surface, Webb is diving into the hidden layers of the universe, unveiling secrets billions of years old. One of its most iconic observations is of the pillars of creation, huge towering columns of gas and dust located about 7,000 light years away within the Eagle Nebula. These formations are not just stunning, they're star factories. Within these immense columns, new stars are born from the gravitational collapse of dense clouds of gas and dust. When Hubble first captured this area in 1995, it revealed incredible beauty. But with JWST, we've gone deeper. The new images reveal stars that Hubble couldn't even detect, stars only a few hundred thousand years old, forming in the heart of these dense clouds. These stars, infants in cosmic terms, were hidden from us until now. Yet even with all this newfound clarity and detail, something more remarkable has emerged. Some scientists are daring to ask questions we never considered. Could these colossal structures be more than just random formations of gas and dust? Could there be something more behind their creation? The idea may seem far-fetched to some, but it's hard to ignore the precise symmetry and mysterious phenomena hidden within. What if these structures, revered for their beauty, hold clues to something greater, something that might challenge everything we thought we knew? But the pillars of creation are just the beginning. The James Webb Telescope has continued to push the boundaries of space exploration, and each new discovery feels more groundbreaking than the last. Take, for example, Pandora's Cluster, a collection of galaxies so distant and so complex that it defies what we thought was possible. This cluster, located over 35 billion light years away, was first observed by the Hubble telescope, but it was Webb that gave us a truly unprecedented view. Instead of just focusing on the central core like Hubble, JWST provided a panoramic image, revealing over 50,000 sources of infrared light, galaxies that are some of the oldest and most distant ever observed. What makes this discovery even more astonishing is how we were able to see these galaxies at all. Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This is where the immense gravity of a galaxy cluster acts like a magnifying glass, bending and amplifying the light from galaxies behind it. Thanks to this cosmic trick, Webb was able to peer deeper into space and time than ever before, revealing secrets that have been hidden for billions of years. These distant galaxies, some of which formed mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, offer a glimpse into the earliest days of the universe. And this is where things get really interesting. The galaxies Webb has uncovered are not just old, they're massive. Far more massive than scientists expected for such an early stage of the universe's evolution. This discovery has thrown our understanding of galaxy formation into question. According to current models, Galaxies during this time should be small and just beginning to form. Yet what Webb has revealed are enormous, fully formed galaxies filled with mature red stars. How could such large galaxies form so quickly after the birth of the universe? This is a question that scientists are now racing to answer. If these findings hold up, we may need to rethink everything we thought we knew about how galaxies and the universe itself came to be. Webb's discoveries don't stop with distant galaxies. It has also revealed strange and unexpected phenomena much closer to home. Take, for instance, a recent observation of a star known as Galabiu R140, 
The telescope captured a stunning image of this star surrounded by a series of concentric rings, like ripples in a pond. But here's where it gets weird. These rings aren't perfectly circular. In fact, they have a square-like shape, a detail that has baffled scientists. Could these rings be natural, or is there something else going on here? Some have speculated that the peculiar shape could be evidence of advanced alien technology. While that may sound like science fiction, it's hard to ignore the mystery surrounding this discovery. Even with further investigation, no one has been able to fully explain these bizarre patterns. But it's not just about strange star formations or distant galaxies. Webb is also helping us understand more familiar objects in a completely new way. The Phantom Galaxy, also known as NGC 628, is a prime example. Located about 32 million light years away, this galaxy has been observed before by both the Hubble Space Telescope and NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. But with Webb's advanced instruments, we now see it in unprecedented detail. The galaxy's dust lanes and spiral arms are clearer than ever, and its nearly perfect symmetry has earned it the nickname, the perfect spiral. But perhaps the most exciting discovery within the Phantom Galaxy is the presence of an intermediate mass black hole at its center. These black holes are far smaller than the supermassive black holes we usually see at the heart of galaxies, and their existence raises new questions about how galaxies form and evolve. As if all of this weren't enough, JWST has made yet another discovery that could change the very way we understand the early universe. In one of its most recent observations, the telescope revealed a series of distant galaxies that quite simply shouldn't exist. These galaxies, some nearly as massive as our own Milky Way, formed only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, far earlier than anyone expected. According to current models, galaxies from this era should be small, chaotic, and just beginning to form. Yet what Webb has shown us are enormous mature galaxies filled with stars. This discovery has shaken the foundations of our understanding of the early universe. How did these galaxies grow so large so quickly? What does this mean for our current models of galaxy evolution? One theory being explored is that early stars may have behaved in ways we don't yet fully understand. Stars from this period, known as population three stars, may have emitted light differently due to the lack of heavy elements present in modern stars. If this is the case, it could mean that our models of star formation need to be completely rewritten. But these discoveries are only the beginning. With each new image, with each new data point, we're inching closer to answers that have eluded humanity for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? How did the cosmos come into being? What secrets are hidden in the farthest reaches of space? The James Webb Space Telescope is helping us explore these questions in ways we never thought possible. We are on the cusp of a new era of discovery. The universe, with all its wonders and enigmas, is far more mysterious and beautiful than we could have ever imagined. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are just beginning to scratch the surface. What we will find in the coming years may not only change the way we look at the cosmos, but also how we see ourselves within it. The possibilities are endless, and this is just the beginning.